In a city where they celebrate all things STEAM are nationally known for Iowa Wesleyan College. Two, one, by command. And claim our favorite space scientist, James Van Allen, as a hometown hero. Discovering downtown Mount Pleasant is also making a splash with a bustling business square is just frosting. Folks here like to joke rush hour lasts about five minutes, but when you look at the car line streets and vibrant storefronts, it's really not fair to call this neighborhood of 9,000 a small town. No, I think Mount Pleasant has always been a really progressive community. So uh, we have the classic traditional downtown. You know, we have that community, that small town feel, but we've always kind of been ahead of the game. A perfect example is SIP, the new coffee and wine bistro where the crowds are drinking in the atmosphere that encourages them to stay as long as they want. Owner Holly Frary is feeling a lot of love from her customers as they relax between the rustic brick walls and classic tin ceilings. It's been great, very, very well received. I think it's an exciting time to be a business owner on the square in downtown Mount Pleasant. And for your side? Fans come in for the fantastic soups and sandwiches, all the coffee choices you could want. Wine, yes, lots of wine. And before you go, check out the amazing treats, all part of the downtown renaissance, and you'll never leave without hearing thanks a latte. With newer, fresher, ideas and concepts, um, not afraid to try something different. And so I think the community appreciates that, but I certainly believe the surrounding areas appreciate that as well. A little caffeine to carry you down the street to clothing stores, flower shops, and restaurants where what's old in Mount Pleasant is new again. So we have a lot of historic buildings in the downtown area that make it really fun to just come and not even, if you don't even want to shop, just look at the buildings. From the earliest days, films flooded Main Street with entertainment, and you can find a lot of towns who wish their theater hadn't been torn down. In Mount Pleasant, they refused to let go. The old Masonic Temple needed a lot of work, but the Lowe family, along with grants and donations from the community, transformed it into a picture palace with a very happy ending. The owners even added loft apartments upstairs. Around the corner, the historic Union Block Building, where Arabella Mansfield aced the bar exam to become the first female lawyer in the country in 1869. The renovated third floor, a spacious new ballroom, now hosts wedding receptions and parties, with a beautiful view through the arched windows to the tree-lined square below. On the first floor, businesses are inking deals to move in. At Anywhere Apparel, they're silk screening for sports teams and businesses from all over. The shop is filled with unique designs you won't find just anywhere. Owner Joni Mansky has a simple secret for success. Uh, you have an idea, we'll put it on a shirt for you. Cool hats, too. This is not your grandma's style of embroidery. Professional needlework in nanoseconds, and the location is a bonus. Well, we feel that Mount Pleasant has a great square and a, a great downtown area, and we wanted to be part of that for our business. We love it. It's neat because it's an old Fort Madison Schaefer pen piece. It's the same story for low-tech. There are no shortcuts for a perfectly restored prized possession from the past at Brown Bear's Basket Antique Mall. You'll find rooms filled with heirloom furniture, cabinets, clocks, and collectibles. Customers say they like the variety and something you find all over Mount Pleasant friendly shop owners. We have great places to eat, we have great places to shop, but most importantly we have really good people here in Mount Pleasant. There you go. <laughs> A viable place for people to live, work, and play, and that's kind of our mission. Consider yourself invited to come play. We're road tripping in Mount Pleasant. I'm Matt Hamill.